I just got an email on my husband's iPad that the hot water in his apartment building was going to be shut down temporarily for repairs. We own our own house and have not rented for over a decade. Holy shit. Grab your popcorn. That is right. This is going to be a shit show. Let's see. Come on, Pablo. Don't let me down. Don't embarrass me now. And she mouths, oh. And I straight up. What the f Hopefully there's nothing in quotes. I just got an email on my husband's iPad that the hot water in his apartment building was going to be shut down temporarily for repairs. We own our own house and have not rented for over a decade. Okay, trigger warning, infidelity. <laughs> Who would have guessed? Manipulation and financial exploitation. All right, we're going to see another example of gaslighting and financial exploitation. What's that mean? <clears throat> Let's find out. My husband is on a trip with one of our sons and his brother to go visit their mother, my son's grandmother. I was cleaning up the den when an email notification popped up on his iPad. It was an email from an apartment complex that they were going to be temporarily closing down the hot water for repairs. Sent from one of those automatic senders that you can't reply to. It was addressed to my husband with his first and last name. The thing is, we own our house. We haven't rented in over 10 years and even then it wasn't this place. Where my husband is, upstate New York, there isn't any service. I tried to send him a picture of the email, but it won't go through. I called him and spoke to him for a bit. Service was choppy, but I managed to explain to him about the email. And basically all he said is that it must be a mistake and they had the wrong email. You sure about that? We weren't able to say much before the call just dropped. But if it was a wrong email, how would they have his first and last name all spelled correctly? For context, his first name is somewhat common, but our last name isn't common, especially in this area. There weren't any other emails from the sender or, or about this apartment complex in my husband's emails, but he is also the kind who clears out his inbox as he gets messages. He clears out his emails as he gets messages? That's suspicious. Unless it's spam, yeah, anything spam or irrelevant, that's getting cleared out. But I'm saving everything so I could have receipts as needed. I sent a message to the apartment complex telling them that I think my husband was on their email list by mistake, but I just got an automatic email sent back that they were out of the office until 1020s. And then general rent information pricing, one bedroom, one day, $600. Two bedroom, one day, $900. And that there were no open units available. There was no unit number on the email, but the complex is about 15 minutes away from our house. So I went and I drove by. Ouch. What the hell is even that? I guess might be a little cr Pablo, you scaring me, bro. Daddy, chill. Ouch. I guess might be a little crazy, I know. I didn't that's not crazy. I don't think that's crazy. Let me go see what the hell this damn apartment's about anything not like i knew. don't get gaslit into thinking you're damn crazy for going to do some normal investigation bro what's going on i ain't coming down no more i'm thinking you're trying to calm me down what is this damn apartment complex they sending emails our way trying to tell us about fucking our water getting shut off bro you ain't crazy girl it's a group of buildings less than a hundred apartments in all I don't have any reason to mistrust my husband other than this weird email that gives me a strange feeling in the pit of my stomach as well as a general feeling of paranoia that he's just been though bored with me. I've been feeling this way for a little while, but he insists I'm imagining it and that he's happy. I only brought it up to him once when I was feeling particularly insecure last year. We still do things together. He still tells me he loves me, etc. I just feel like he doesn't have as much fun with me as he used to. And like he looks for reasons to be out of the house or doing things specifically with the boys instead of doing things with the whole family. It's not like it's something that bothers me every day, just something that I think about when I'm feeling insecure or paranoid, like in a situation like this where he gets an email from random apartment complexes, hello. Anyway, I don't know exactly what advice I'm looking for. I know the advice I would have for one of my friends would be just to talk to him, but I really can't do that until he comes home on Saturday, which is a really long time for me to sit with my intrusive thoughts. <laughs> Edit, he never lived here in the past. He lived with his parents until college and then lived in a dorm and then every place he rented was with me. We've been dating since we were 19. Edit 2, the email wasn't a phishing scam. 
It was a legitimate email from the email address on the apartment complex's website. All of the information included in the email letterhead matched the information on the apartment complex's website. And if it was a phishing scam, I assume they would have been looking for information. This email wasn't looking for anything. It was just an informational email about the water. So the people in the comment sections are trying to tell her that no, it's just a phishing scam or it's just a, just a spam email. I mean, you get all kinds of fuck, but you don't normally get shit like that, especially from a place that has an address that's literally 15 minutes, an actual place. It's 15 minutes away from you. It's got your actual name on there. Update, my best friend called the emergency maintenance number and said that she was a delivery driver. What the hell? Oh, this is smart. My best friend called the emergency maintenance number and said that she was a delivery driver who had over $100 worth of food for and said my husband's name, but said he had forgotten to fill in his apartment number. That was brilliant. That's smart, girl. What? The guy didn't speak English very well, but after she repeated herself a few times, he did eventually say his name and then told us an apartment number. Relevant comments, call the apartment complex to see if they are shutting down the water to see if it's real, then do more digging. OOP, I called him and got an answering service. These are all just comments. Okay, here's the next update. Sorry about the late update. My post was locked by the time I got to it. I'm currently writing this on the ride upstate. Yesterday, I posted about an email I had gotten on my husband's email from an apartment complex talking about fixing the water. My husband, who is upstate visiting his mother until Saturday, has next to no cell service, so I haven't been able to talk to him about any of this other than saying that the email must have been a mix-up. My friend called and got his apartment number from the maintenance man. Both of us went over to the apartment and my friend knocked. A girl answered but didn't answer the door, just the bell camera. A girl answered? Oh, hell no! My friend said she was there looking for Adam. The girl said that Adam wasn't there but wouldn't give her more information than that, which I get my friend was just a total stranger at her door. When we left, I could see her looking out the apartment window at us. I tried to call my husband a thousand times yesterday and nothing went through. The few times the call did pick up the service was so bad you could barely hear anything. So I'm headed upstate to confront him in person. I have a copy of the email as well as a photo of the apartment, as well as a recording of the girl saying that Adam wasn't there, which is a confirmation to me that she knows him. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. She on her way to your ass right now with receipts. She got all the evidence. I got my whole fucking and my attorney, my best friend with me. Do I need to bring the receipts, oh, baby girl? What do you got to say about this, sir? Let's see. If this is somehow oh, a big misunderstanding, I'm going to have my husband explain it to me in person instead of waiting until he comes home. I haven't gotten a chance to read all the comments, but I will go through them now and try to respond to what I can. I haven't slept, so I hope this makes sense. Edit to everyone telling me that I should just wait, not confront him, talk to her first. He's my husband, he's the father of my children. If I'm going to find out that he's cheating on me, it is going to be from him. I'm going to say this for the last time. Please, stop advising me not to go talk to my husband about this very serious situation that we are in. Yeah, good for you, girl. What the hell are they saying in the damn comments over here? No, don't go talk to him. Don't confront him. Mind your business, girl. What are you talking? This is it. What are y'all talking about? Y'all all, all in on this? Is he paying you? Who are you working for? Who's fucking, whose side y'all on? There's nothing wrong with what she's doing. Go confront his ass. Because that now that the girl at that door knows like two women just showed up at the apartment i think she's on to us like she's gonna give her him a heads up so you need to close the gap on the amount of time that this guy has to think for, of an excuse but we'll see i will go talk to a lawyer if need be however we have been married for over a decade we have a family and a life together i am going to go talk to him i understand what the situation probably is I understand that he's probably going to try to lie to me. I'm not a moron. Good on you, girl. Okay, final update. Writing this from a hotel room, I went to confront my husband. He knew the minute my car pulled up what was going on. He came outside to meet me, and the first thing he said was, did you go to the apartment? And I... So he's acknowledging the apartment. Come on, man! That's too easy! Told him, yeah. 
So then he said, so I guess we have to have a talk. And again, I said, yeah, I'm not going to get into the exact details of it. It was a long talk and it involved a lot of emotions. She is his girlfriend. So you were right, girl. Everybody who's in the damn comment section trying to tell her to slow her at her roll fucking no, she was damn right. They've been together for four months. Four fucking months? She is under the impression that we are separated and going through the divorce process. His family wasn't aware of this. His brother and mother who were there were horrified. I'm so Good that your mother was here to fucking listen to what her son, what type of creatures she raised. She gonna be smacking the shit out of you all the way back home. Say something again. Say one more thing. I'm a pimp slap you. I'm sorry I don't have more to say. I've already contacted a divorce lawyer, a therapist, and a financial advisor. Thanks to everyone for your support. Holy shit. I think she did the right thing at every step of the way. She went and saw the apartment to see for herself. That fucking genius to tell her for, to get the apartment number. Her friend acted as a delivery person for groceries. Hey, I got these groceries over $100 worth, but he forgot to put the apartment number. It's for this Adam fucking, uh, Adam Shikaderus. Can you tell me what apartment number? We got a lot of groceries about to, about to go bad. We got ice cream, it's melting. Come on, hurry. <laughs> hurry, I need the apartment number. And then she found out, oh, girl's there. That's all you need to know. He hid it from you, period. That's enough to go confront him about it. So those feelings that she had were spot on. The intuition that something was up and he was saying, it's just in your head. Bro, why didn't you have that damn conversation with her before you fucking went and did some stupid shit like this? Communication, you, you fool. You should be ashamed of yourself. You a whole ass fool. This guy, he gets to the streets. Chicatery alert. We hit him with the Y. The red flags galore. You know, he gets the whole fucking slew of them. All of them. <laughs>